What's going on guys? Yearing with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. Today we began the Elite Four. And for those of you wondering how I am doing this, well, it's a very simple answer. I did not replay through Leaf Green. And for the record, apparently I'm like the only person in the world that did not think of using the walkthrough walls cheat on my Leaf Green. But the problem with that was if I did that, I would only be taking on the Elite Four in the first round. And I wanted to take him on on the second round. So, to make it more challenging. So, what I did was, for those of you who remember my one video of my Fire Red Nose Lock, I still had that save file, so I just decided, well, I'll just go do the after game of that really quick, which took like 30 minutes, and then I hacked in my Pokemon. I got, I got them all up to a decent level for... Or I didn't get them up to them, I hacked them in at this level, so I cheated. You know, whatever. <laughs> I didn't grind, I'm sorry. But, um... I hacked him in at this level, which I think will be a decent level because I think um, Gary's highest Pokemon is going to be like 75 or something like that, but I got everyone to 68, so yeah, and um, I, w I took forever trying to decide on who I want to take, who I want to replace Jelenis with because I want to bring this guy so badly, and someone's saying I should replace Oscar, but Oscar's a really bulky Pokemon. I if Jelenis dies, I'm pretty much screwed against Ice-type attacks. So I decided I don't really need Arcanine, because the only thing that, um... I don't even remember what Arcanine's name was, but... All he really had was Flamethrower, was like the only, like, useful move he had. And I have Fire Punch on Jelenis, and... I have so I have ice type moves that can cover it just I don't really need fire for anything so I, I just decided to drop him and bring in Jelenis instead or Galenis I don't know how it, I don't I spelled it and I don't even know how it's pronounced so <laughs> but yeah this is my team and I'm not feeling very confident so I just wanted to point out that I am doing this on that fire red file we're still gonna call it leaf green for the heck of it so that's why the rival's name isn't gonna be Rufus and Okay, here we go. We're going to be doing one memory to leave for each episode. I know a lot of times um, people like when you do them all at once. I find it more like dramatic when you do one at a time because then, I mean, I, I, I don't know. why. I just, I, I like it that way. Okay? Okay? Just that's how we're going to do it. So, it's probably not a good idea to lead off with the Kestro. I'm going to lead, I think she leads off with like a Dugong. And so I'm thinking Sipper would be a good lead. So... Um, yeah, okay, so, Lorelei of the Elite Four, <laughs> hopefully we at least make it past her, because that's going to make me very sad. Oh, oh, I, I think move animations are still off, battle scene is still off from Fire Red, and since I am taking this on the second round of Elite Four, it's going to be more difficult, I will be using Shift instead of Set Battle Style, and we will actually see the moves this time, instead of that horrible catastrophe known as Fire Red, where I consistently forgot to turn on the battle animations. Anyways, here we go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei of the Elite Four, have returned. Yeah, you bitch. You know how it goes. No one can be best when it comes to me. I, I don't even know what you just said. Whatever. So, I'm like really nervous about this. While we're battling this, I kind of want to talk about something that may be a future project. Um, a little side project, don't worry. Just like all the other millions of side projects I do that completely just don't go to crap. Um, the steam, the, st the steam, okay, wow, I didn't realize we were kind of overleveled for this battle. Don't worry, it will balance out very quickly. Uh, the steam summer sale recently began, which is like the one time, if you're a PC gamer, this is like Christmas for you. I mean, you're probably just staring at all at steam all day, looking at all the amazing sales, just masturbating, because it's that amazing. But, oh, jinx, um, oh, you stupid psychic type. Okay, okay, let's go with... <gasps> Meteor Mash. Well, can his Meteor Mash, he'll resist the Psychic type moves, and I think he resists Ice as well. I don't know for sure, but anyways, uh, the Steam Summer Sale recently began, and my girlfriend Pepper, as she goes by on the internet, kept bragging about some game she got. Oh, or I could go with Shadow Ball. Meteor Mash would be more powerful, but it has a chance to miss. Let's just go with it. Oh crap! Which one is that? Is that Sleep or Confusion? That's Sleep. Oh, you monster! Are we really gonna play this game? Uh huh. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna try to get the story out because it will have something to do with something I probably want to do in the future. I'll probably end up doing it like after I record this because I'm pretty excited about it. But she kept bragging about this game called Postal 2 and saying it's like a hilarious game and telling me like things is going on in the game. I'm not gonna spoil what goes on in the game, but um, apparently it's pretty freaking hilarious. And it was only 2.99 or it was like 2.79 or something. So. 
I was like, really? Really? How many times are we going to do this? So I was like, okay, you know what? I'll get it. And the game's like 50 years old, so it, I haven't actually tried playing it yet, but I can, like, 90% sure it's going to run really well on my computer considering how old it is, because I can run um, Half-Life 2 on my computer relatively well, so I... Okay, that's cool. How often... Really? Can you just miss this move one time? I really wish Jinx was level 69, because I would find that funny. Just saying. As I've been trying to say now, so, Postal 2, I... I kind of want to, like, try... Can you miss it? Can you... <laughs> miss the freaking move! Ugh. Okay, you know what? Um, I have, like, 96 full restores from when I did the uh, Fire Red, so... <laughs> Let's just go with that instead, because I was getting kind of low on HP. I don't know how he hasn't frozen us yet. Oh, okay. Hopefully she's out of Lovely Kisses and the Meteor Bash will actually hit. Um, anyway, so I'm thinking I want to try doing a little side LP of Postal 2. I probably won't start posting it until Leaf Green is over, and then I'll do just Pillow Slant. I'll probably do like Postal 2 for a few days to just like... Um, either I'll do it at the same time as Leaf Green and I'll just have two videos a day, or I'll do it like after Leaf Green starts but before my next Nuzlocke starts to just like pass the time, I guess, you know, as I get ready for my next Nuzlocke and like, oh wow, you survived and this is probably, actually it's probably not going to do that much because I am one bulky dude, but you're going to full restore. I can't, how much HP is that? That is ridiculously small amount of HP. Um, but yeah, so if those of you who know what Postal 2 is, um, and you played it before, it's like 279 on Steam right now, which is incredibly cheap for a video game. Normally it's like $10, so I definitely took advantage of that, and I was all over that, so I will pro I, I'm like really looking forward to playing this game, so I'll probably end up like doing some tonight. And I'm actually recording this a lot later than normal, which is why this video is going to be uploaded really late. It's almost 11 p.m. Oh crap, no, you do have Psychic! I was sitting like, oh, she won't have Psychic, that's a TM move, but she had Psychic, and wow, I don't know how that only did half to me, because I'm pretty sure my special defense is kind of crap, but I, <laughs> I just, I'm so freaking lucky right now. By the way, Sipper is Megahorn. I think I said, like, I wasn't, I don't actually, I don't remember if I said I wasn't going to give him Megahorn, or if I wasn't going to give Moon Megahorn, but they both have Megahorn, so that obviously worked out the way I thought it would. <laughs> Um, anyway, maybe I'll do more, I don't know, maybe I'll do more than one Elite Four in each video because I like, I, I want to, uh, oh, 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 that did a lot, oh crap, oh crap, no, 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 Oh, I shouldn't even be making excuses now because that was just incredibly stupid of me. Alright, Nikestro, we got this. Let's just rock slide and finish this thing off. We also got Hyper Beam, but rock slide's a much... Actually, Hyper Beam's... Actually, I don't remember if Hyper Beam is 100% accuracy, but it's like guaranteed to kill this thing, so... <laughs> and it's the final Pokemon, so we don't need to worry about the recharge. I, I don't know if I'm going to do more. We'll wait and see if we're going to be doing one more. I don't know. It's only been like nine minutes, and I feel like I, I want to keep talking. So, <laughs> uh, I think Bruno's next. So, I, I think we'll take on both uh, Bitch Face and Agatha this video. So, or, pff, not Agatha, and Bruno this video. But before we do that, let's heal everybody up. We got plenty of full restores. I'm getting Skype messages, but I can't be bothered to go on Do Not Disturb. I think he starts off with Steelixes, and Steelixes really, really scare me, and they're the reason I I have Oscar, because, anyways, um, yeah, let's do this. So, as I was trying to say during, like, the whole Warlight battle, um, I'm probably going to be recording Postal 2. I'll just do, like, the first video and see if I enjoy it and see if you guys enjoy it, and if, even if you guys don't enjoy it, but I enjoy it, then I probably won't do it. But if I enjoy it and you guys don't, I probably won't do it. But if we both enjoy it, then we're going to be all over this game. And apparently, like I said, it's supposed to be like really hilarious and just completely random. So, I think... I don't know if it'll mix well with my sense of humor, but hopefully we can figure something out. So, in the meantime, we got to worry about a Steelix who just barely lived a surf, which kind of scares me because... I mean, I know, okay, never mind, now we get a crit, that's nice, we could have, 
maybe used one before. I don't know why it has Rock Tomb at this level, um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I think Vulcan is... I, I was I was going to go into Kestro, but I'm really scared of this thing using, like, High Jump Kick and just, like, destroying the Kestro. Okay, no, this is Hitmonchan. I was thinking of Hitmonlee. Either way... I don't think hit. I don't think the fighting type moves would do very much to Walkin. He's pretty freaking bulky. And wow, what is, what is with every Pokemon living with like two HP? Jeez. Um, Shadow Ball to kill it. Seriously, that's what the the Pillow Swine lived with a sliver. The Steelix lived with a sliver. The freaking Hitmonchan lived with a sliver. If this Hitmonlee lives with a sliver of health. Oh my god, you have Earthquake. Why did I not think about that? Oh god, you can do it. You can come on, 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 come on. <gasps> that was a crit! And that was scary. Oh god. Oh, wow. What the heck? Why can't we one-shot anything in this game? Wow. Okay, so the good thing is Earthquake should do under half. This Mega Kick should do nothing to us. Wow. Oh, huh, huh. That was, that was scary. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Okay, good boy. Uh, I think it's a Steelix and a Machamp left. For Steelix, I'll go back to Dugong. For Machamp, I'll stay in with Wolken. Why would you not bring in the Steelix? This seems like a really good time to bring in. That is a very high level Machamp. It's probably going to have Earthquake. He has Cross Chop. That's neutral, so I don't think it'll do that much. Bad thing is Matchamp, people keep telling me this isn't true, but Matchamp's a pretty bulky Pokemon. I mean, I remember whenever I take on like my- Wow, everything- You do have Earthquake. Oh god, no. Oh god, no, Wolken. No, Wolken. Okay. Okay, we're faster, and the sidekick, he's gonna heal up. Oh, I should really be healing up. I do not need to be playing safe right now. Anyways, I always remember with like Matchops, they always seem to live like, like a very small amount of health. And it always annoys me, like, no matter what I do, they're just there, like, ruining my life, so. The matchup line, despite what everyone seems to tell me, are pretty bulky Pokemon, apparently, so. Don't hate on Matchop. He can take a punch, and he'll hit you back even harder, and that's all, all the useful stuff I have to say about this video. But, um, yeah, dang, I, I just, I really feel like talking a lot right now, and... I wanted to, like, drag this out. I will, I'm not gonna do all five people in one video. I will probably stop it after Steelix because I don't feel very prepared. I don't know. Maybe I'll do Agatha. It's only been freaking 13 minutes, and it's been wait. It's been like two weeks since I've actively uploaded. So you guys, I like how he turns away from us. Hey, guess what? I can just walk over here, bitch. Oh, wow. That's that's rude. Which way do you? Okay, yeah, just be that way. Um, wow. We actually we took that battle really well. So. Good job, everybody. Agatha's up next, and I think Wolken could probably sweep Agatha. I'm, I don't know. Um, let's find out. We haven't even had to get, got a chance to use Jelenis yet, which is making me rather sad because I was like freaking out over wanting to find this guy, and now I have him, and now he's a beautiful Alakazam, and he's just not getting used at all, and I feel like such a horrible person now, but... That's just the way it is. So, gang wow, you start off with a Gengar. I want to think you started off with something besides a Gengar, but... Yep, nope, never mind. Shadow Ball, Confuse Ray. That might be a little scary. Hopefully we can hit this thing. Um, can we? I would think one of her Gengars... I think she has two... Okay, yeah, of course. I think she has two Gengars, and I think one is still a Dream Eater set, so... Well, now we have a perfect chance to full restore, which will both get rid of our confusion and our sleep. Is, is this a Dream Eater one? I'm a little confused. No, it's Shadow Ball. Okay, that's not super effective. I never realized... Why does every sleep-inducing move hit? I mean, seriously, I, if I used Hypnosis, I would have missed, like, both times there. But she uses it, and she's just gonna freaking hit it every freaking million times, so... Ah, so annoying. Confused Ray. <laughs> Of course. The good thing is Shadow Ball is physical and it Gengar does not have good physical attack. Thank you. Gengar does not have good physical attack. Um, so we don't really have to worry about it doing a lot of damage to us. And can we one shot this thing? Wow, a critical hit. I bet if that wasn't a crit, that thing probably would have lived with a sliver of health because everything does. 
We are confused, so I am going to switch out here because I don't trust myself with confusion. And we can finally give Moon, Moon a chance to do something because he's been sitting in this Pokeball this entire time so far. And he deserves some attention, so we're going to shake the ground and this, we're going to freaking kill this snake. I am enjoying this very much. What the heck? Why? Why does everything work with this one HP? Why do you have Earthquake? I didn't even know Arbok can learn Earthquake. That that just it doesn't make sense. It's weak to Earthquake. How does he even shake the ground? It just it slithers around on it and it just doesn't make sense. Why? Why do you have Earthquake? I, I hate you so much. I despise you. What, how many Pokemon have lived with a sliver of health? With like red health. It is just becoming absolutely ridiculous how often this is happening um I, I don't want to use Wilkin so much but at the same time it's like I really shouldn't be risky but I think Nikestro can take on a Mistrevious I mean luckily they don't have Miss Magius in this game yet and Mistrevious is kind of a fluke so oh by the way people were saying I should use to um not take down double edge because I have Rockhead no uh, Nikestro has pressure so yeah <laughs> Um, I don't even know. Actually, is pressure his legit ability? Because I don't know why he would have pressure now that I'm thinking about it. Um, that's did. Oh, what? What? Why? Why? Why a crit? Why? That's what I get. I deserve that for trying to play it risky. I didn't want to just sweep. Why did I? Okay, I use Shadow Ball because it's super effective. That's right. Uh. Two Pokemon died because of a crit so far. I do not like the way this is going. I'm very scared for Blue. Or Tits or whatever his name is here. But um, See, this would have been a perfect chance for freaking Nikestro to take on a Crobat. But no. Alright, let's go with Oscar. I still I don't want to use one Pokemon the entire time because that's no fun. So we're going to Ice Beam instead. And of course you're going to have Confuse Ray. Why not? Why not have Confuse Ray? Everything gets confused. Dugong, I thought Dugong looks so like derpy. Wow, really? Okay, it's okay. We're gonna get poisoned. We're probably gonna get crit. We're probably gonna die, but that's fine because we're gonna hit ourselves now. Yep, what did I tell you? Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's totally not like we're trying to take on UE4, and I'm so close to winning. Uh, we can do this. I believe in us. I've. I want to take a look back at history now while we're doing this. In Emerald, I lost to the champion. In Fire Red Omega, I lost to Lance. In Platinum, I lost to... I don't remember what his name was, but... Uh, I feel like if I get poisoned, I'll probably end up dying. Or if I just hit myself. In Platinum, I lost to Will. Um, it's three times. And wait, no, am I missing one? I, really? Every time we're gonna hit ourselves? I feel like I'm missing a Nuzlocke run there. Let's see, Blaze Black, I lost to Skyla. Emerald, okay, let's not count the first Emerald, but... And the second Emerald, I lost to the champion, Wallace. Um, after Emerald was... Spirit Gold! Spirit Gold, I technically did beat the Elite Four, if you want to get technical. But, of course, that would be like the one video... I accidentally exited out of recorder while I was saving and hey we actually attacked oh my god I didn't even know you can attack people Dugong I'm just like color <laughs> Wow karma's a bitch isn't it Crobat oh that that makes me so happy if she full restores I swear okay we are no longer confused we can finally attack this thing and the Crobat is dead uh, spirit gold I lost to blue but I tech I don't know how to I don't know Spirit Gold's a weird one. We're not gonna talk about that. After Spirit Gold, I did Fire Red Omega, which I lost in the Elite Four. I lost in the Elite Four in um, Platinum. And Blaze Black 2, well, let's not think about that. And of course you had Dark Rising, but let's not remember that. It's probably better if we just forget that ever happened. So um, if you're gonna live, because I know the earlier Gengar lived as a slaver, you're probably gonna live with, or, wow, really? The other Gengar was like four levels lower, and it lived with, like, that same amount of HP, so, 
I'm very confused right now, Gengar. You're gonna have to explain to me what's going on right now because my brain just can't handle this. My brain can't handle your pa- Don't you get par- <laughs> I hate my life! I just wanna win Pokemon! Why? Why is this happening to me? Why? I don't understand. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We can do this. We can do this. Let's not get paralyzed. Let's maybe Shadow Ball this thing. I know we're gonna have to take at least two more hits. We're gonna have to full restore our extra. Unless we get a critical. Welkin, get me a crit. Revenge Nikestro. That's not a crit. That is leaving that thing alive. And well, at least this one doesn't have Confuse Ray, because it seems like every one of our other Pokemon had freaking Confuse Ray. This one just likes to paralyze you and make your life horrible, so. Finally, we could Shadow Ball and kill this thing unless he gets a crit right here and, like, ruins my life. But nope. Okay, Shadow Ball. And we've defeated Agatha, so. Oh god, that was so terrifying. Well. I freaking critical hits. Man. That makes me so sad. I don't know why I tried to take on using a Kestro. I wanted, I wanted a challenge. I didn't want that kind of challenge. Anyways, next episode will be the finale of Leaf Green Agog as we take on Lance. And assuming we beat Lance, we will probably we will take on our rival, which I can't imagine that going well, because Nikestro was literally my only answer to Charizard, besides maybe maybe Dugong. Maybe can do it. Moon does have Surf. Um, yeah, anyways, next time we is the finale of Leaf Green. Thank you guys for watching. How about for the first three members of the 4 instead of one, like I said it was going to be, how about 300 likes? 100 for each. Thank you guys. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo. Peace! So, guess what? I was saving and my emulator froze. So, I hate my life. I just thought I would share that with you guys. So I'll have to replay these three. And I'll have to murder Nikestro and Sipper all over again. So, yay. Thank you guys. Bye.